Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to square a block up. How do we square a block up? There's six surfaces to a block. The largest surface you always want to try and do first. So this will be surface one, which we put flat down on, par on uh, parallels in the base anyway, just so you can machine this surface first. So this is technically going to be surface one. Okay? Then we're going to tip this, put it up against our solid jaw, and we're going to put a dowel pin in. The reason why we have a dowel pin in is so that since this surface has been machined already, when we put it up against, if this is on an angle, it sits, this creates a pivot point, and it sits up against the back of the jaw. So we're going to put this in, this will be surface two, and we'll flip it over 180 degrees. This will be surface three, but when we put surface two down in the vise, we want it to be on top of parallels. Surface four, we will sit on top of parallels in the vise with no pin. Surface five, there's two different ways of doing surface five. We can stand it up, put a square up against, and fly cut the top, which is usually the preferred method. All depends on the height of the block. When it gets too high, it's not rigid enough. Another way is to set it down inside the vise and take an end mill and do the ends. So we're going to start with doing our first surface. The only reason why I'm putting these parallels in is so that I don't hit the vise. I don't actually need to tap it down or anything along those lines. Pretend the block is also a little more rough, or rustic. We always make sure before we do any machining that we don't have anything on the vice bed, or on the, on the machine table, or on the vice at all. Just this. Check. And I'll tap it down just for fun. Just barely touch. taking a small amount. This is more of a demo. That's surface one. We always make sure the cutter's finished spinning before we put our hands anywhere near it. Now, I have to clean up these edges, the burrs. Nice even strokes of the file, using the full amount of the file if you can. No burrs anywhere, you can feel there's nothing. This is a good surface, surface number one. Pull our parallels out. The reason why I'm putting this small parallel in isn't to make anything parallel, it's just to make sure that to make sure that I don't hit the vise. This is surface one. Surface one goes up against the back of the vise. We insert a pin, put our pin in halfway in the vise. I'll show from the side here. Halfway in the vise here. What the pin does is it creates a pivot point so that we are absolutely going against the solid jaw of the vise. A little bit of snug down, and we're ready to cut our next surface. Put everything off our machine. Good 
We have surface two finished. We do burn surface two. We check to make sure we have no burrs. Then we check surface one, surface two. How we check is we go from the smallest surface to the largest surface so that we can see what runout we have. If I went from the larger surface to the smaller surface, if I could possibly tell this was one thou, this distance is one third of this distance. So therefore, if I check from here, it'll be three times greater. So I'm going to hold it up to the light, bring it down, spot on. That's surface two. Now to do surface three, I will need a parallel. We'll make sure that everything is very clean, so that it's not sitting on any chips and there's no burrs or dings or anything on our parallel. We'll put it in, surface two. One goes against the back, surface two goes down. We put our pin in the center of the vise again. The only difference this time is I'm going to tap this down to make sure that I'm sitting on the parallel. <clears throat> I pull on the parallel, make sure that it's sitting flat on the parallel. If you're not sure, you can always tap it down a little bit more. A dead blow hammer works best, but you can also use a piece of copper or a piece of brass if you have to, or a brass hammer. Lower this down a bit. <clears throat> and we're going to touch off for our next surface. Take a small amount. Now keep in mind, I'm not actually checking any thickness sizes. I'm only showing how to square a block up. <clears throat> In between these, you'd have to check and machine more off to get a given size you require. A nice clean surface. First thing we do is we keep our block. You do not want to handle a block with burrs for obvious reasons. Double check, I still have a little bit here. So I'm going to go back. At this point in time, I would check parallelism, and I'm going to check squareness for surface three.